So a trucker knife, what do you need? You need it to be legal, you need it to be made in America, you need it to be high quality steel, and you want it something that's gonna last you a lifetime. Well, I got lucky, cause I picked up this knife, hear me up, for $120 at Knife Center, but it's no longer that, that is. It went up to, I bought it like two months ago, and now it's on around 154 but you could buy it at Amazon for, for 146 uh, So, let's go to it. So I got three knives. This is the Glock knife, which is uh, six and a half inches. Um, carbon steel, I believe it's, uh, I believe it's 1095 and 75 or 95, doesn't matter. A balanced knife, really good for, it's pretty much like a dagger with a saw in the back. Anyway, this is like a combat knife. It could be illegal in a lot of states and this, in places, you know. Uh, I'm talking about carrying that, you know. And um, this is a, a folder, four inches from Cold Steel Voyager. Um, OS 10A, very good knife made in Taiwan. This is my everyday utility knife, really, really tough. It's like a freaking uh, a, a tank. It could take a lot. But none of these two compare to our star right here. It is the SA4 or ESEE4. I mean, if you know this company, you know what I'm talking about. Usually they make the, their blades with uh, carbon steel like this one, and it's still one of the still one of the best knives. But this thing is the S thirty five VN. It's a CPM steel, guys, and I got it for one hundred and twenty dollars. Sadly, no longer selling it with the same price. To give you a perspective, a folder like this even shorter than this uh, if ha if it came in this steel it will sell right around 150 to 200 dollars if you don't believe me just just google uh, CPM S35 VN steel knives and see how much the price is I mean each company sell them differently some of them they go up to five six hundred dollars but a fixed blade made in that great steel almost I think it's like five millimeter thick uh, full side ground you could you could do a lot of thing you could like skin with it there's like a place for your finger if you don't have a big finger basically you could do all kind of things with it and this thing it is a full piece of metal I mean under the handles there's only three drills plus this one here it's just a big chunk of like a high quality steel hair shaving um, this thing there was a test uh, between this one and the um, another great knife from cold steel it's uh, the uh, master hunter in the CPM uh, CPM 3V or V3 or something like that and the guy was cutting cords with it and this thing cut like almost 45 times before it went bad uh, the uh, cold steel with the there's that CPM 3V they did like 25 cuts and it went bad so you know this thing is gonna last you a long time uh, the sheet is another story the sheet is really high quality sheet um, or Kydak and uh, the clip it's unbelievable it's uh, like a I don't know if you can see that it comes in here and it goes all the way back there it's like a u-shaped like this you know it's really really tough this the strongest the strongest clip I ever seen it it clicks really let me see if I can do it with one hand without cutting myself Guys, this is not going to go anywhere. 
If you don't believe me, check it out. If you run with this upside down, it's not gonna fall. This is how good it is. This sheath, uh, let me not use this corner, let me use this corner so I don't cut myself. This sheath, it's worth probably, in my opinion, it's worth like 50 bucks by itself. Uh, the knife, extremely happy with it. Uh, I'm, I've been disappointed like everybody else with a lot of knives, you know. Very few knives that stuck with me like this cold steel, really. It's, it's been with me for years. It's, it's a work horse, you know. Um, I bought box knife and they chip on me with that, uh, you know, 420HC and I bought a Spider Co with some Chinese CR13 MLV, whatever it's called. Uh, it broke again. I, I mean, I, I really use knife and abuse knife and very few of them they last. This one, I, honestly, I haven't tried like to go hard on it. As you see, it's brand new. I mean, I can't speak to it. I like the balance of it. It's really, really balanced. Like the, the balance on the Glock knife, it's somewhere right behind the guard here. So that makes it really, really fast in hand. The one thing I don't like about this one, it's the sheath. The sheath is very cheap. And uh, and the lock is, again, it's not really the best lock, you know. Like, if you wanna pull it in an emergency, you gotta remember pushing it. Like, you gotta remember. Let me see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Okay. Okay, so to release a Glock knife, you need to push this one like that, like outward or at 45 degree. So in an emergency life or death situation, I don't know. This one, you just pull it. You just grab it and yank it hard and it's in your hand. So. I still think it's very valuable even with the uh, increase of the price because this is a big chunk of uh, S35VN. Uh, I got I got lucky man it was on like sell and I got it for 120 now it's 154 uh, like I said in on Amazon you can get it for 146 um, I would uh, suggest that you buy it now because the price is going high on it. People are finding out about that uh, new steel that uh, SE, SE knives or S, SEE. They're, uh, this is like a new steel that they're using. Anyway, this is the knife.